Up next is the award for story and world design. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, nothing makes a game come to life like an immersive world where the player can just get lost. Yes, and did you know the human voice is an incredibly intimate and effective way to invite a player into that world? And that there's a new low budget indie contract with the Actors Union? And that I'm a 100% disinterested neutral party on this subject. Well, most of that was true. Uh, <laughs> here to present the award for story and world design is game designer and educator Nick Fortugno. Mike? Oh my God. Uh, for all the educators in the audience, can I ask the, the winners to stop telling stories of eight-year-old girls crying at your <laughs> event because we'll all be hysterical <laughs> and the sound will drown out everything else you hear. Um, there we go. Not all games explore stories, but those that do give players a unique opportunity to explore a narrative through immersion, role-playing, and interactive metaphor. The task of creating compelling narrative universes for players demands not only traditional storytelling skills, but an ability to craft those story worlds with enough space for players to have their own voice. This award honors those games that have married interactivity and narrative in the most powerful and new ways, and that have helped us push forward our understanding of what forms stories can take. And the winner of this award is Diary of a Spaceport Janitor. Wow, uh, I, I guess thank you guys so much. Um, I, I just want to extend a deep, deep thank you to our whole team back in Vermont who couldn't be here, uh, all of Sunday Month Collective, and also uh, our publishers, Tiny Build Games, um, who ha had the uh, vision to sustain our, our sort of weird, goofy, little uh, anti-adventure game and, and bring it to a big audience full of, of traditional gamers and, and put it out in the world. So thank you so, so much.